Okay, let's talk a little bit about memory variables. And a memvar, or memory variable, it's a variable that will persist persistent throughout a ZBrush session. So, for example, if you want a variable to continue to exist in a macro, for example, you, you're creating a macro or a script, not a plugin, a plugin is different, but if you're creating a macro or a script and you want a, var a variable to keep existing after that script is finished and another script, another macro runs, then you need to use memory variables. Otherwise, that variable will cease to exist. So the way you define a memory variable is by writing down mvardef. So it's practically the same thing as as the uh, as setting a normal variable. Normal variable is vardef. Memory variable is mvardef. So might as well talk a bit about naming convention and memory variables. It's a good way a good way to identify that it's a memory variable is by starting with a lowercase m and then write the name of the variable like I have here. So I have lowercase n, m for memory and then my var which is the name of the variable. Now the second argument here, one, is how many draws, if I go back to the draw example that we used in the var list, this is a bit like a var list. So how many placements are in this variable? So it works a bit like a var list, a bit like an array. So I'm saying one and I'm putting a zero. Now, memory variables are only for numbers. They don't work for strings. There's a way to convert numbers into strings and strings into numbers and we'll get to that later on. But know this, memory variables are, main, are just for numbers. So here I'm defining a variable that has one placement and that placement is zero. I could say this variable has a hundred placements, so doesn't matter. Now like the list variables, this is zero based. So if I want to place, if I want to set something in the first position, I'll, I'll set it in position zero, being this only has one position, that position is position zero. So I'm making that position the number 10. Now something to keep in mind is if you set, if you try to set or get a memory value variable that does not exist, ZBrush will throw out an error. So you always have to check if the variable exists or not. And the way you can do this is by doing something like this. So using mem get size. So I'm asking if mem get size my var, and basically I'm testing for a memory block here and it returns one if one or more ex if if it exists it returns one if it doesn't it returns zero so if this is true it exists the memory exists so now i can actually set my variable the same the same thing goes for getting a variable i need to first check if the variable exists and then i can get my variable now, memory variables use computer memory, and you don't want to fill that memory too much. So, for garbage collection, we can delete that memory, that variable, as soon as we don't need it anymore. And in order to do that, we use memdelete. And to use memdelete, the same thing goes. We need to check if the variable exists. If it doesn't exist, and we try to delete it, or get it, or set it, it's just going to give us an error. So we always need to check if the variable exists or not. As you can see here, getting a variable is this command right here. So you say mvar get, you write down the name of the variable, and then you write down the position of the variable that you want to get. So position zero would get my var zero, which I set to 10 here when I set, when I use mvar set. So in a real world example, I can start by checking if the variable exists or doesn't exist. So if I say, if mem gets size my variable, this is asking if the, if the variable exists. I'm going to ask if it doesn't exist. And the way I can do that is by using the not operator. Okay. So he in inverts. So now instead of actually asking if it exists, I'm asking if it doesn't exist. Because that's actually the question that I want to ask. 
Why? Because I'm asking if it doesn't exist, I want to define it. So I'll say mvar def to define that variable. And in this case, I'm just going to use one position here and set it to zero. Okay, let's make this a bit more readable. So I'm asking, does not exist? Define it. Now I'm using an I button. I could do this inside the routine as well, or I switch or I slider. Now that I'm absolutely sure that the variable exists, because I already asked if it didn't exist, define it, I can get it and I can set it. So first I'm going to set it. Let's set it to 10. And now to get it, I'm going to use a note to output its result. So I'm just going to say note and use this command mvar get my var position zero, which is the only position it has. It has one position, that position is called zero, and I set 10 in there. So if I use this button in ZBrush, I get 10. 